anyone that comes telling us I'm a healer, it's fine. Oh, 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 That's all. Spins and greens, balance and things Get like a king, it's an African thing Root spins and greens, melons and things Teach all my youth fresh fruit for my queen Root spins and greens, melons and things Get like a king, it's an African thing oh, Root spins and greens, melons and things Teach all my youth fresh fruit for my queen Have you ever seen the edible war? With the drip drop, eating good in the fall what you, what you know about that compost tea? Keep it OG with them worms on creep. You all what you eat, you smell them greens when I speak. See me on the flow, yoga, seven times a week. My food so hood, organic concrete. B-boy fresh, unique to the beat. It's a global call to action. It's time to grow. Save up your wallet. Good evening. Good evening. I hope I deserve all of that. Before I begin, I would like to make certain things clear. We don't want to get bogged down with philosophy, religion, or politics with me. I'm a little bit different. Not better than you, not worse, but different. And this is something that we have not yet treated. The difference in each individual. Because of my difference, I made a difference in the Supreme Court of New York. Ah, yes. But that difference have caused me a lot of trouble. I was not raised with a father. I never had a dictate from a male. I refused the dictate of a male. Don't blame me. That's the way I was raised. I was 14 years of age. I stole the money from the church. <laughs> That is the God in heaven truth. <laughs> you see, I have to talk about the truth, right? Yeah. And since I am different, I see things differently. Yeah. I'm not spiritual. I'm not religious. I'm not anything. Because I don't believe in anything. But in that vernacular of living, in that particular space, I was able to think about my grandmother that raised me, who was a member of the UNIA. Hey. Hey. I was only eight years of age, so I'm 80 years of age next year. Woo. I'm an old man. Right. So I can hear it. I can hear it more from Bobby all my life. And when I went to Africa, I had a chance to sit with the president, Lansan Conti, and he asked me, who was my hero? I said, my mama, and only my mama. Is there a second? I said, Marcus Garvey. Why? Because I was always living in the world that is pragmatic. If you talk, and in your talk, there is something physical in it that would enhance life, I don't want to hear it. Why should I? After all, I'm an African, he said. I'm an African, and in the jungles of Africa, we didn't have anything that was acid, everything was alkaline. But today, I have to be educated to understand that which is alkaline, that which is acid. Well, as I journeyed through life, I became a merchant seaman, I became an engineer. Then I began to delve into the earth because I was sick. And lo and behold, one day a blind man was seen. A little child no longer had sickle cell anemia. Another one had AIDS, no longer have AIDS. Well, I thought it was the best thing to do was to go and publicize this with the help of my mother. She was the one that encouraged me to put the ad in the papers. Well, I did. But I found out that I was wrong. You see, I am the mistake. I am the big mistake. Mistake how? Because when I was an engineer, I was hearing things such as science. Science is for the purpose of improving and the betterment of life, to improve the state of life. Well, I decided to go into biochemistry. 
I didn't go to school. I have never been to school in my life. I have never read a book in my life except those on urbanity. And when I read those, every one of them was loaded with inconsistencies. So, I threw the books away. I was once a Christian. They fed me pork. I was once a Muslim. They fed me lamb, which was 10,000 times worse than pork. So I, understood, I am the result of what? Injury. Injury caused by what? Religion. Religion. So therefore, I am not religious. I am your brother. Yes, Lord. But being, being what I am, I was able to find the way to heal people, especially you. I found out that all the healers in New York had a meeting against me only because I was talking against the thing that they was in favor of. One of them was carrots. When I talk about carrots in New York, everybody jumped on me. They had to. After all, all the information we have on healing came from where? Europe. Every bit of it. Every piece of information that we have ever gathered in reference to healing is a European one. Well, I decided to just make a little exit from the European way and look at things differently. That's right. And what happened? The diseases that we have cured since 1984, no one has ever cured them since. But the mistake I made, I thought that I would be in favor of the leaders of America. The only leader in America that have come to my aid, he's sitting right here, hey. single. Hey. The government of the Bahamas said, come on. Well, they gave me a whole island to work with. That's I'm right. working in the Bahamas now. But I want to spend more time with you. But I have a baby. I have, a baby was born to me a year ago, which I got a call today that her mom is pregnant again. Okay. And I have to run back. Okay. I have to go back because they're waiting for me. And I wanted to go Chuck. And I wanted to be here at least a few days because there are many people here that I know. But let me begin now. Because I have a very short time here to talk to you. The one thing that was never explained fully, the difference of the black man with everybody else. Talk about but it was never treated. When I went before the Supreme Court, you know I was arrested, right? I asked the question, Your Honor, is it a fact that in creation, you find that there are things that are placed in different geographical locations with a food? She said, example, I said, you will not find a gorilla in Alaska <laughs> or a polar bear in Africa. That you will not find. Along with the geography, there is a food. The gorilla does not eat polar bear food. But the gorilla, that female gorilla, doesn't take her cops to be trained by a polar bear. And who trained us? The polar bear! All of the books that have been written, written by who? The Caucasian. Polar Why do we need the books? I don't know. I never read one. I never would read any. But in not reading books, I had to extrapolate whatever I know from a different set of rules. Nature itself. When I look at Mother Nature, I say, well, since gorillas does not eat polar bear food, what are our food? What is our food? That makes a big difference. The FDA told the Supreme Court that they didn't want me to distribute my product. <laughs> I told the judge, the FDA is right, 100%. I should not distribute my product. The judge said, why do you agree with them? I said, because I agree with the devil. I agree with everyone. In fact, I love the devil. That's right. <laughs> So the judge said, 
you agree with the devil, I have to. God made it. Everything God made is good. Am I right? But may I ask the FDA a question? Is there such thing as gene food consistency? The judge said, what is that? I repeat it, gorilla did not eat polar bear food. <laughs> but the FDA should know what the food of the black man really is. So she turned to the FDA. The FDA didn't know. How would they know? They're not the black man. They were not interested in our diet. They were interested in our shoulders. So here I am, before you, your brother, that isn't spiritual, he doesn't have a soul, he doesn't have a mind, he doesn't have anything. But I hear these things from you. Like today when I was coming up, I heard somebody said, what about my protein? <laughs> protein? Well, protein was brought to me in Washington, D.C. by Dr. Steinberg at the Georgetown Pediatric Hospital. Because it was a little girl by the name of Akita Stroud that lived in this city today. She had sickle cell anemia. And I removed everything that constituted protein. Dr. Steinberg said, you didn't give Akita Stroud any protein. I said, what is that? What is protein? <laughs> One of the 19 amino acids are the electrical. I don't know. He said, but uh, you should know, because your premise rests on protein, and you don't know whether it is electrical. My body is electrical. And if protein is electrical, how is it going to assimilate? How is it going to nourish me? A dead substance nourishing an electric body? Does that make sense? Does it make any sense? Dr. Steinberg? I am compelled to ask you another question. What is sickle cell anemia? Sickle cell anemia is a disease that was given to black people 10,000 years ago because your blood went through mutation. I said, I'm confused. She said, why? Because there's a brother of ours that goes around the world saying that God gave us sickle cell to fight malaria. His name is Dick Gregory. You tells me it is mutation. But Dr. Stanford, let me say this. It's neither God nor mutation. It is the deprivation of iron chlorine. And this is what all of us in this room, including myself, and I may be the sickest. Why? We've been starved for 500 years. You have not given the black man in America the food that was consistent with the cellular predisposition. What are we eating and how are we behaving? Are we behaving properly? Well, I'll tell you what, Michael Jackson made a mistake and took me to the White House for what I don't know. <laughs> because I know that the people that were there weren't going to help me. That I knew. Because, in fact, I don't need anybody's help. The entity needs the help, not me. I'm satisfied with being me the way I am. No one never did that. Look, I was working ever since I was 10 years of age. I never been to school. Had to take care of a family. So while I'm in Washington, Mr. Jackson, Michael went to the mic and told the 17 African ambassadors, I have a present for you. I didn't know what the present was going to be until a month ago. Who was present? 17 African ambassadors. Sheila Jackson Lee from Texas, John Kanye from Michigan, and Leonard Mohammed from the Nation of Islam, and Mr. Jesse Jackson Jr. from the House of Appropriation. Mr. Bush had appropriated five billion dollars to fight AIDS. Mr. Jesse Jackson was a member of that house. And I showed him proof. Here is the proof. Right in this book, you have diagnostic sheets that people was cured of AIDS. Why didn't he tell us? Why didn't he tell you? Why did his dad didn't tell you? Well, that convinced me that I was in the wrong time, in the wrong place. 
I took my 